Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I've lost over 100 pounds and I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. So today I wanna to show you some of the snacks that I've eaten throughout the years that can hopefully help you stay on track while still enjoying little snacks throughout the day, okay? So I just got my shipment from Thrive and I feel like it's just a great day to make this video because I have everything in my kitchen. So come on, let's go down there. I'm gonna show you and show you all this deliciousness. Okay, so I laid everything out so that you can see everything I ordered from Thrive. I don't know if you've heard of Thrive, but Thrive is an online membership market. I've been using them for years. They're absolutely amazing. Makes everything super convenient. They're delivered straight to my door. You're guaranteed a savings. I love them because they do carry like a lot of specialty ingredients. And whether you're vegan, keto, paleo, like they have something for everyone. Right now they're offering 30% off plus a free gift up to $60. They're absolutely amazing. I highly recommend them, but I'll leave the link in the description below for you to check them out. So let me clear this stuff up so that I can show you some of the snacks that have really helped me not only lose weight, but also maintain my weight for over 15 years. So remember, snacking doesn't have to be boring. I love my snacks, I love my desserts. So I'm gonna put some of the things together that I like to snack on throughout the week. I'm just going to um, show you something that's like a little more between like a lunch and snack. This is just one of my favorites. I don't know if you've ever had like a homemade kind of California roll in a bowl. So this is how I make my version that's super easy, literal tuna can. So first things first, I just add my tuna. Now you can also make it kind of like ceviche style where you add a little bit of tomato, cilantro, onion, lemon juice, but I really like it like a, like I mentioned, like a California roll. So I do a little light mayo, a little bit of sriracha. The tuna doesn't have salt, so I add a little bit of salt and pepper and then just give this a good little mix. So this here is a little tuna salad and it is loaded with protein. So one of the things that I always think about, like even with snacks is like, how is this snack gonna nourish my body? So even if it's chips, I still make sure that I'm putting some type of nutrients in my body. I also think protein, I also think healthy fats because Protein and healthy fats are gonna keep you feeling satiated. Love me my little seaweed. So this is sometimes like my little, this is like more of a mini lunch or something like that. I also love to add a little bit of kimchi or ginger. Kimchi is really, really good for your gut in case you didn't know. So put that right here on the side. And this here is a very nutritious, little healthy snack. So we have our tuna salad, a little bit of seaweed, and then our kimchi. What I like to do is just grab kimchi, grab my little seaweed, and then just kind of like a little taco or a little burrito. But that's it, cheers. Mm. To me it tastes like I'm having like a little sushi. It's so quick to make. You saw me just literally throw everything in there. And this is still just a snack. It's 130 calories. I added some light mayo, sriracha, you know, this entire plate is less than 200 calories versus having like a little mini protein bar that you're still gonna feel hungry. You're not gonna feel like you just had like food. You get what I'm saying? So I always think like, how can I feel satiated? How could I feel like I like more satisfied? And this to me is better. Like this is a better snack than having just like a little protein bar. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I have protein bars when I'm on the run, but this right here in my book just sits like a lot better with me. Okay, so another really big snacky item, chips. Now here's the thing about chips. Chips are usually made with horrible oils, okay? And I say horrible because they are literally horrible for our gut. Now, I say this all the time because it's the truth, 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. So if you are having issues all over, you know, just with different, whether it's inflammation or bloating, like you really need to focus on your gut and a huge factor are seed oils. So like soybean oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower, canola, vegetable, all of those oils are super inflammatory. 
And a lot of the chips that you see out there, whether they're like Doritos or Lay's or whatever, are all made with those oils. So there's very, very few companies that are frying their chips or making their chips with avocado oil or olive oil. Sometimes it'll say it, but if you look at the ingredients, you will see that there are other oils. So these chips that I grab on Thrive are from Siete. These are made with avocado oil, which is of course a healthy oil that is not gonna cause inflammation in our gut. These are great. I also love these little broccoli florets. I like the broccoli, I like the shishito peppers. Um, you can grab all of those as well. For me personally, I still eat them, but for sure this is more of a treat. Like this is not something that I'm eating daily, but if I am eating them, then I'm gonna pair it with a dip that has healthy fat. So like this here, bitch and sauce. If you've been following me for a while, you know, this is one of my favorite sauces. It is made with almonds. So almonds are a healthy fat. So when I eat these together or I eat these together, it actually just makes me feel nice and satiated for about a couple hours because of the fat. And then remember, these are also made with avocado oil. So you also have the healthy fats that these chips are fried in. And remember, pair it with something fatty, like something like avocado, almonds, cheese, something of that nature, because that'll just keep you full a little longer. And um, then we also have our salsa that just makes it nice and spicy and it just tastes delicious. Now, another thing that I absolutely love to eat and love to make is little mini charcuterie boards. So olives, healthy fats, mixed nuts. And then I also love um, to include my protein. So you can't have a charcuterie board without some type of protein, right? Whether it's like salami or turkey. So I like adding little beef sticks because Avi, you have more protein. These are lean. So you figure you're adding two, then you're up to eight grams of protein. You have some nuts that have six grams of protein. So when I do a charcuterie board, I'm thinking protein, fats, because that's what's gonna keep me full the longest. And I love meat, cheese, olives, all this together. Sometimes I add a little bit of chocolate because, I mean, you know, you have a lot of the savory, salty, and then a little sweet. Not only is this low carb, high in protein, great healthy fats, a snack like this will keep you nice and full for hours. Whether you're watching a movie or you're just kind of hanging out or you're having like a girl dinner, you know, you hear people talk about it all the time. This is like the perfect girl dinner. So if I wanted to throw something else in there, I'm telling you it would just be a little sweet component, but this right here is literally mm, everything in life. Right here, one little board. Now I came up with this snacky idea <laughs> on a day where I didn't have much to eat and I was like, okay, again, protein. I want something that's gonna keep me nice and full, but I still wanted it to be nice and tasty and super easy because I was like, you know, I'm always kind of on the go, go, go. Now don't be afraid of jalapenos. I know you're probably like, no, I cannot take spice. So what I do, depending on my mood, cause sometimes I'm not really in the mood for something spicy, I take this completely out, okay? So let me just take this little vein out. Okay, so I took out the seeds from the jalapeno seeds and veins just to be on the safe side. Then I like to stuff it with a little bit of chicken or deli meat or whatever I have on hand, right? And then healthy fats. Avocado is always my go-to because they are super healthy and um, they give a creaminess to any dish. So sometimes like if you don't wanna use mayo, you can totally use avocado in replacement of mayo. And then I'm gonna add a sauce because I usually like to do sriracha, mustard, a little um, cilantro sauce. Right now, I have the Buffalo Ranch. This one is from Primal. Also very clean ingredients. But then I just, you can do a dip, you know, if you wanna just dip your little jalapeno. But if not, just do like a little drizzle. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is just one. I will for sure, I would eat like three of these, okay? But this is just an example of how I put it together. I eat this, again, protein, healthy fats, super delicious, nice and crunchy. So I'm like a texture girl as well. So you get the crunch from the jalapeno, you get the protein, so you have that substance, and then the creaminess from the avocado, 
plus that little sauce on top just takes it over the top. And this is a delicious little snack that you can feel good about eating. You're gonna nourish your body. And I feel like it's just like a fun little, kind of like finger foods, you know what I mean? Now for my snacky snacks, like this is the stuff that I literally will only have once in a while. I don't know about you, I've always been a huge popcorn fan. Now these little guys right here, I'll be honest, I will at least have two of these for sure. The good thing about these, 50 calories, and only five carbs. So I love Lesser Evil because they are made with coconut oil, not like a seed oil, like canola, soybean, stuff, sunflower, any of that. And then you already know Siete, super clean ingredients. Siete is always made with avocado oil. I can guarantee that. So super clean ingredients, cassava flour, coconut sugar. These are also not super low in carbs but they are super clean. And then we also have chocolates because let's be real, chocolate is delicious. And I know there's some people that don't like chocolate and like for the life of me, I cannot understand it, but hey, it is what it is. And I love Hue Chocolates. Hue is one of the cleanest brands out there. And this is a milk chocolate, six ingredients to make a whole chocolate bar. That is right up my alley. That is speaking to my heart and my soul. I love these hunks. These are chocolate covered cashews, same scenario, super, super clean. So whenever I'm doing movie night, I'm going into the pantry that has all the goodies. Great for when you have friends and family over and you guys are just like sitting down, talking, chatting. It's also just like a good little snack to bring out for the fam that is also nutritious and healthy. But for the most part, like I like to serve the people that I love and the people that I care for, healthy, clean foods as well because yeah, I just feel kind of guilty to be honest with you. So these are pretty much the snacks that I have made, that I have snacked on over the years, all the way up until now that have helped me not only lose the weight, but also maintained it for the past 15 years. So I hope it was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so that you're reminded every time I post a video. And if you have friends and family that you think these videos would be really helpful, please share, share my channel, share this video, because you never know, you never know. It might be really helpful for them, but thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.